This is my family right here. I'm back in town. Yeah. And this is one heck of a way to spend the morning <laughs> hanging out with big boy here. August, how do you like being an older brother? Do you like being an older brother? Mr. Yeah. Drool. What is up guys, it's Eric or Aviator and uh, I'm home. I'm, I'm actually home, which is fabulous because I've well, I've been home for a few days and I haven't recorded a vlog. So first and foremost, I'm sorry. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a while, I do apologize. But I've got good reason because I had to take a couple days off while I was out in California because editing the vlogs that we were recording out there were just so epic. The vlogs were epic to watch and there was so much content to fit into them. That, like one vlog, this last one I posted yesterday, uh, I had to cut it into two different days because there was just too much going on. So it didn't make sense. Let me fix the mirror. Uh, and it's my nose. It didn't make sense to, uh, to continue to post stuff on a daily basis just because I was gonna spend more time editing than was really passable. So with that in mind, uh, I'm back in Florida and right now, I'm standing a bit home for three days. I'm on my way to go do some flying. I've been home for four days. Three days, four days? I don't know, it's been a few days. Uh, I've just been catching up on stuff, doing all I can, just been a ton of time with my little family. Uh, it's, it's been kind of wild, because I, I left Florida two days after we found out we were pregnant again. It's just been such a whirlwind of activity that I'm doing all that I can to, to kind of get back into the, the swing of things here and catch up on work, etc. cetera. So uh, I'm driving right now to the airport. I'm on my way to go and do some paramotoring. It's kind of an interesting weather day. This, this is summer in Florida, so every day is interesting weather day, but uh, today is uh, odd. We just a huge string of thunderstorms past us, which left some really nice still air. I think we have about four miles an hour wind right now or so, something like that, pretty much perfect. Uh, but behind me is another string of thunderstorms that's coming in the next about two hours from now, they're called for. And I've been looking and it's not, it's not nearly as bad as the one before it, so I'll probably gonna be able to fly for like a half an hour or something, but I need to get up in the air, get back into my flying habits of flying every day and at least hoping to try, try to fly every day because that's healthy for me. It makes me feel better about life and uh, helps me justify all the work I do. So. I'm doing that right now, and uh, I'm gonna go fly my Blackhawk Paramotor 125 with my Momentum Paraglider, and it'll, or my Momentum Microlight Paraglider. And I'm gonna actually go up and fly by my brother and uh, my family, they're all out today shooting guns. I was gonna go shoot guns today instead, but when I saw the weather was gonna get good, I thought, well, I'll go flying. So hopefully they don't shoot me down, and <laughs> they, won't, they won't shoot me down. Uh, it'll be a good time, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, I'm gonna let you guys go now that we're two and a half minutes into this, oh my gosh, two minutes and 20 seconds like a crazy person. Uh, but yeah, it's beautiful. So I'll do what I can to include a little flying footage in this vlog, I hope that you enjoy it. And I'll probably talk to you guys after I've landed, let you know how I did on the flight, uh, fill you in a little bit more on what's going on. I've got some really cool videos coming out. In fact, I'm working on my actual Dog Island video, not my release of baby information video. Uh, so yeah, it should be pretty good. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. See you later.
That was awesome. <laughs> oh, it was a great flight. Holy crap, that was fun. My hair is ridiculous right now. That was a blast. That was seriously a blast. Ah, uh, man. I think I might go fly again. I'm going to check the weather, and then uh, I might go fly again. Because you see over here, the storm is, uh, is looking kind of gnarly. And I know it's blowing away from me. Technically, it's supposed to be anyway. But it still looks kind of gnarly. So I'm going to do some research really quick, make sure the wind hasn't changed. Prevailing winds do change here in Florida. Pretty much the drop of a hat. So, well, not prevailing winds, but the winds at altitude do. So I'll find out which direction is blowing at altitude and make a decision if I want to launch again. I, I got the shakes just a little bit right now. It's a little bit shaky. I don't know if you can see this. Just a little bit, like not bad, just a little bit. Just because it's always, I don't know, it's always one of those interesting balances, whether or not you take off safely, land safely. Like, because I'm new to this sport, it is definitely a different experience. But uh, I don't know, man, it's fun. I love flying paramotors. I gotta say, like, out of all the flying I've done, this is definitely some of the more entertaining and challenging. I was trying to, to change where I landed to right about here, maybe a little bit further up, just so I could decide if I wanted to take off again, I wouldn't have to move my motor. So I went around once. Um, man, it's just it's a gorgeous day, dude. It really is a gorgeous day. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's kind of shaky right now. Hang on, let me get my hand out of the throttle. Really quick, I'm going to do a, a setup video for my paramotor one of these days soon, so you guys can understand how all this stuff works. But this is my throttle right here. It looks kind of like a bike grip. I don't know if you can see that. Bike. But it's actually operating my carburetor back there and my kill switch is right here this button right here most important thing in paramotoring is a good kill switch because people usually get hurt either on takeoff or when they start their motors that's usually the two areas they get they get hurt the most uh, because sometimes the carburetors get stuck on so you're basically screwed you're trying really really hard to have control and you have none because it's just going full power Wah! and it runs you over and that, that can be a problem if you're you know adverse to propellers like all humans should be but I'm going to do some quick research on flying. Uh, maybe maybe I'll do a little more flying. But uh, definitely need to do a paramotor setup video. I think you guys would like that. And I got, again, guys, huge shout out to Blackhawk Paramotor. I, I was just out there hanging out with our marketing director in San Francisco, Brian. I'm in love with this thing. I really am. It is just... It's the coolest thing I've ever flown. It's the cheapest thing just about that I've ever flown. Um, I think this thing's actually cheaper than most parachutes. Like most high-end parachutes for tandems and stuff. So... Uh, that's kind of ridiculous, and, and, and in a good way, I think. There's my there's another airplane flying. That's the first other airplane I've seen. That airplane over there was on the ground when I got, or was flying when I got here, but it's it's on the ground for the day now, so. I don't know, man. It's a, a little hectic day for, for flying, but I had to get up in the air, and I knew that I was safe right here. I had this little window about an hour at a time, so. I'm going, I swear. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. All right, looks like we're going to go try to fly again. The weather's not moved any further this way. It's got a little bit more clouds this way, but no wind with it. And uh, the weather from the west is actually looking better. So, let's go! That was the weirdest camera angle ever. <laughs> I just re realized I was staring down into the camera of doom. But, uh, yeah, let's do this thing. Here we go. Sunglasses on. Need to wipe those off. And that's a wrap. Hour of flying or so. Pretty good flights. That last takeoff was a lot harder than I wanted it to be because I had the brake line wrapped the wrong way, like an idiot. But that's one of the nice things about this sport is that if you have the fundamentals taught to you over and over and over again, you can correct for any noobish mistakes. I'm out of breath. I just ran from just across that little pavement to here with a wing up because I made another small mistake. Not only a mistake. Well, yeah, a mistake. I wanted to land right about here. And instead of adding power and coming back around, I've been trying to practice my, my spot landings. That's probably the worst spot landing I've had in a very long time. I'm pretty good at those. Usually I can put it right where I want it. So it's a learning experience, but whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm a six foot four asthmatic and uh, with a heart of gold. <laughs> anyway. I, uh, I'm definitely worn out. The storms are incredible today, and they're all around us. They came through earlier, which made the sky pretty nice. It's a little bit bumpy right now. I think we're about to get another little wind shear come through, so I'm going to stay on the ground now. As much as I'd like to keep flying, because I do feel like there's some things I could be learning. I'm trying to get better with my launches every day. That's all I'm trying to do, so. Oh, well. <laughs> Joys of being a very, uh, what's the word, active, very active asthmatic. 
asthma is a pain, man. I'll have to tell you the story how I got asthma someday. But yeah, this is my day. This has been a good afternoon, good evening. I'm going to go home, pour myself a very nice gin and tonic, and maybe wake up early and go flying again. We'll see. I'm working on my Dog Island video right now, and I'm going to try to get that done as much as I can tonight. There's a ton of footage to put in it, so it's probably going to be double length, which I think will be good. So whew, that's my full vlog for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, you can look forward to seeing more from me tomorrow as well as more adventure videos on my main channel. So please, if you guys don't mind, uh, take a moment and share this video. I, I know that some of you guys don't have 10,000 friends on Facebook because, well, you can't have 10,000 friends on Facebook, but you might have a couple hundred, and some of them might enjoy these vlogs. And since they're only getting like 500 views or so, it's a lot of work to, to get that few views. It's a ton of work to film these, edit these, etc. every day. And I, I do have a couple people who are going to be helping me edit, but I would still really appreciate it if you guys would take some time to, oh, I don't know, make me look good, get, get your friends involved, and uh, they might like them. You never know. Your great aunt might like these. I think my great aunt likes them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's my whole pitch. If you guys don't mind taking some time to share the videos, it would mean a lot to me. And uh, that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and pack this whole thing up and head back. So get ready for time-lapse mode. Go! See you later. Bye-bye. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we're ready. Let's do this thing. Nine minutes to pack up, and that was with me going about as slow as a human can go, including taking a few pictures from my phone to post to the Twitter and the Facebook. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.